Hey guys and welcome back. My name is O'Hapel and we've got kind of just a vlog commentary for you today. We are going to be talking about, um, I guess I'm going to call it something like learning, responsibility, and happiness. And kind of this was just a thought I was having today, I thought I'd share it with you guys, is that children are so much happier than adults it seems like. And I was sitting here thinking about, you know, why is that? And to me it kind of came down to two factors and how they almost work um, inversely of each other. That when you're a child, you're constantly learning whether you want to or not. You know, you have to, how do I buy something at the store? Even, even really so simple things to us as adults are a learning experience for kids. And on the opposite side, you have almost zero experience when you're, or excuse me, zero responsibility when you're a child. And so you've got low responsibility, high potential for learning, and people end up being happy. Everyone's pretty much nostalgic for their own childhood. And that got me thinking as adults, you know, who are the happiest adults? Well, they're people that aren't necessarily under somebody's thumb. They're somebody that's not being required to work 12 hours a day in order to feed themselves and stuff like that. People that have relatively low responsibility. And then I also think about people that are kind of children at heart that are people that continue to discover and learn throughout their lives, not because they have to, but because learning is a positive experience and it's fun. And when I say learning, I don't mean, you know, necessarily going to school and studying calculus or something you don't like. I mean, learning like doing some problem solving, figuring out new skills. Um, and so this is kind of something just, something maybe for you guys to try. Don't overextend yourself. Don't give yourself deadlines you can't meet. Don't give yourself too much responsibility. Definitely take care of business, do what you need to do to be a productive adult. But at the same time, don't overwork yourself, don't overload yourself. Don't put too much responsibility onto your shoulders. Remember that there's other responsible people in this world too, and it doesn't all come down to you. On the flip side, remember to just keep learning, keep working. The times when I've been busy learning and busy problem solving are the times when I've been happiest in my life. They're some of my best memories where it's, well, me and my friend get into skateboarding and we want to figure out, let's build a skateboard ramp. Well, we don't know how to use any of the tools. Well, let's learn that. That was always a good memory. Oh, you know, we want to figure out how to put a stereo in our fort. Nowadays, things like, I want to learn to convert my YouTube videos and create 3D videos for you guys. I want to learn how to make a 3D virtual reality headset for myself. You'll see lots of do-it-yourself projects on my channel. And the reason for that isn't because, um, partly it's because I, I think that that's something that I can enjoy to create. And it's one of my specialties on YouTube that people like to see how to do things on YouTube. But the other part is that I like figuring out how to do things. I like saying, all right, the problem here is, man, the Oculus Rift looks so cool. Let's figure out how I can make something for myself. I'm a poor college kid. Let's see how I can make something comparable for cheap. And so I start researching and I figure out, oh, maybe there's this company called Durovis Dive that creates their own and theirs is $70. Well, maybe I can base my design on theirs and create something for $8. And it's not like it's an important design. It's not like it's groundbreaking, like it's changing the future. But I had to go through and I had to re-examine my understanding of optics and lenses. And I had to say, well, what are gonna be the best materials that I can do to, to actually create this? And go through the whole problem solving steps from buying to finishing it all on my own, just for fun. And so I guess that's kind of the, the whole point of this is that I think personally that you will be happier as an individual if you don't overload yourself with a responsibility and if you continue to learn and learn things that you enjoy learning and you know don't just sit passively watching t television all the time or watching YouTube all the time think to yourself when you think to yourself wow that's really cool when you see a YouTube video that's just like dang I wish I could do that don't say dang I wish I could do that and then just stop there say wow that's really cool next step is how can I make that happen and don't let yourself fall into the excuses where it's oh you know I don't have enough money oh you know maybe I don't have this or have that where there's a will there's a way and you can use your brain I'm sure all of you are smart individuals and you can step through something and figure it out what you don't know how to do Google's your friend you can figure it out and the satisfaction you get from saying going from 
while that sure looks cool on somebody else's YouTube video, to actually having your own thing, your own new skill that you've built up by yourself is really a great feeling and I think it can maybe aid you guys as just being happier in life. That's all I wanted to talk about today, just a thought I had. Um, maybe it's profound, maybe it's not, I don't know. Probably sounds better in my brain than it sounds out of my mouth. But I just want to share it with you guys. Hope you all are having a great day. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I do plan to upload my um, do-it-yourself virtual reality headset tutorial video tomorrow. So be looking for that. Like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. Take it easy.